Hey, 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 here's Captain K. Ahoy, you landlubbers, and welcome to my channel. Today we're playing Factorio, and I thought I'm gonna make it a mix between a let's play and a few tutorials. As you can see, I have played the game before. I finished in 0 0.11. Back then, there was only a placeholder for the rocket defense and then I updated it to the Magnificent 0.13 where I finished the map as well. Here you see the nice rocket that starts. And uh, then I decided to start all over again because it's, it's such a great game and uh, 0.13 is such a great update. And out of all the learnings from the previous games I designed my new how my new factory is gonna be and it's gonna include a few tutorials. So let's start. And here we are. Let's see. So we have a few lakes as cover, that's great. We have a stone patch. Let's head to the iron. In our inventory we have eight plates, a mining drill and a furnace and that's more or less also what we need is coal. I see coal over there. There is some copper, it's awesome. And you know what, it's it's never bad to have some stone so the first thing we should do is build an iron axe. Actually let's build two because we'll dig through that quite quickly. Here we go. Um, That'll get us started. Can we? What do we need? We need gears. For that, we need plates for for an, another drill. All right. Also, let me check. This looks like a nice place to get my factory started. Um, I'll probably build a train station around here that'll deliver iron and copper in here. Here will be the smeltery setup, expandable. Um, because it's already very nicely placed like that. And down here where we already have the coal, I suggest that we start building the energy later on. The steam engines before we will be able to switch to solar panels. Oh nice, there is another copper patch. So let's start with getting some coal and I think, oh great, up here we have oil. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, I need that up and running. So let's just power it. Perfect. So what do I need for? I need iron plates for that. Let's build more than one. Here we're gonna get copper from and iron. We have to go down there. Uh, let's hope that I don't have to do too much running. Actually, you know what? Let's get started while we get some coal with um, some wood. Well, anyhow, let's get get that set up. Here we go, and Eureka! A drill, and before I head up to the coal, let me just pump in a bit more, uh, down here, a bit more iron, because we're gonna need it to set up more drills as quick as possible. And, you know, let's get rid of a few of these trees, that trees lying around. Because we'll need to clean up that space eventually. Anyway, what's that? Yeah, let's check that in, check that in. Let's get that going, how much do we have? Or we need at least nine, right? Get that going. Three. And we're set. Perfect. So now we can start feeding this one into that one. So 
this one is drilling, feeding coal into this one, which fuels that drill, and his output will go into this drill. So we have an infinite loop, and whenever we need coal, I think we can, yeah, it's control, hit control, click the thing, and we got coal, and now we're set. I'm not yet used to talk and do stuff at the same time. Uh, as you might have noticed, this is my very first recording, my first star in YouTube. Um, so, what are the next steps? The next steps will be that we have to set up smelting area. And as I said, since I've played it before and have a like a rough outline of how the base is going to look in my head. I'm I will start building the layout in a way that I can pretty much leave it like that till end game. That's the idea at least. So, let's see um let's let's actually expand our iron setup because we're gonna need more of that stuff especially in the early game so let's just check down another drill another furnace because the next thing that we're gonna need is belts lots of belts and, you know might as well get rid of those trees That keeps us going a while. Um, the trees, I think, I chuck in here. Won't need copper right away. Let's fill up these. Yeah, they've, they've all run out, eh? So let's see. You go in here. You in here. You in here. Perfect. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. So, belts. Lots of belts. I need more belts, I need to speed this up somehow. What we want, I'm gonna want is, uh, I'm gonna build sort of a main bus that's delivering all of our resources down this line. Yeah. Everything clear, clear ahead. Might as well clear that. There we go. So, um, this is the, let's keep it minimal actually, because um, I'm gonna run out of belts very soon, so. A good starting point. I need a little space ahead, which I, I think I do have. That's fine. So this is these are the output lines. You run a run down. I think 16 furnaces, and then combine with the other line. Then we have an inserter delivering on those belts. Then we have uh, the furnace. Right now, their their size is two tiles, two by two. But uh, the later game furnaces are going to be three by three. So we're going to leave uh, three space. Then this will be the inserter, and that's where all the ore is going to come in. Same on the other side, more or less. One, two, three, inserter, and that's where the ore is going to come in. Right, so it's all gonna make sense in a in a second. Also, the way I set it up like this, um, I can and I will duplicate that on the other side. So the insert one, two, three for the furnaces. Insert again, and then the line that's running down. 
the, the output line is running down, same on the other side. One, two, three. One, two, three, and yep. Here we go. So this is how the setup will look like in the beginning. And if, if I need more, and I, I most likely will need more, we'll need a second um, smeltery setup. I, I can duplicate this up here. There seems to be enough space. I can duplicate all of that down there. Let's get rid of those trees. And uh, yeah, we'll we'll be fine. So let's fuel up the copper again. They have stopped. That means that they are both full. Let's grab all of the coal. Here we go. Um, actually, you know what? Let's fuel that with oops coal as well because we're eventually going to need the copper as well for for the inserters. Oh, no. Yeah, the burner inserter doesn't need, but the inserter needs electronic circuits and circuits. They need plates and copper cable. Up here we have oil. Out of oil we'll make plastic. Plastic is needed for uh, the advanced um, chips. The advanced chips needs green chips, green chips need copper, and copper is up here. So let's have copper here. And let's not waste belts right now because we need to get the iron going and we've run out of belts. Let's build as many belts as we can. Grab some more iron. I think we're on a good a good start. And uh, as soon as the smelting is going, we can start setting up the first factories that will then automate belts and uh, inserters and all of that stuff. And after that point, good times are starting. Because that's, that's when Factorio starts to unravel and unleash its, its fun. Yes, yes, yes. So, here are the belts coming in. Let's set up um, Set it up this way. There we go. So the next thing that we're going to need is coal in this early game. Because what we want is um, that's how, how are we gonna do this? We're gonna do this like this, I guess. Because we want the furnaces to be auto fueled. Uh, I don't have any underground belts yet, but I don't need them yet. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because right now what we need is iron. We're gonna do it in such a way that we have coal on one side and iron on the other side. Later on we'll, we'll put the splitter and the underground belt here to do the same for copper, but right now this will get us started. So, I hope I do have enough to build everything the way I want to. Oh, by the way, ALT helps a lot in this game, because it shows you what's being produced where, and where shows where the inputs and outputs of the, of the things go. So here we have iron coming in, and now we need coal. For coal, we're going to use burner inserts on those two, and the good thing about burner inserts is whenever they take something out they will fuel themselves if it is fuel. So they're grabbing coal from here, they run on coal, burner inserter, so they'll automatically place a piece of coal in themselves and then the excess coal they put on here and this is a fantastic way of, of starting off with those drills and the inserter because it's all self-powered up here. So this little coal patch will get us very nicely started. Next thing we're going to do is we cut the copper out. Let's get started with the iron. Now, so this is how it starts. We have a little space to the left. Let's 
that's, that's good. So we need at least four more burner inserters. And now let's place down the furnaces. Um, as I said right now, they're two by two. Later on, they're gonna be um, three by three. So let's start by, did I miscount? One, two, three, yes, I did. Bummer. Oh, why did that have one, two, three? One, two, three. <laughs> Never mind. Let's uh, let's simply move everything down a notch. Um, such a spoon. Right here we go. One, two, three. One, two, three. And damn, I don't want to move all of that. So let's let's move everything a bit down then. So in here it goes. Or actually, why not have a? It's always good to have space, you know. Maybe I need to run coal down here or up or whatever. Always, it's always good to have some some space in Factoria because the bigger and more complicated things get, you'll run out of space, guaranteed. You'll eventually run out of space. So here we're gonna place inserters. Right now, I'm gonna do everything on one side. So inserter, furnace, and then we'll put it on the belt, like so. And these I can remove, and then, so here we have a little space, here we have a little space. Let's leave at least one space between this and the next one, like so. So we can later upgrade to the 3x3 three three electric furnaces. And here we're gonna have our first iron. Let's see if everything works. Let's remove that and burning inserters fuel themselves again. Put it in here, put in iron, put in coal and things run. Now, is it a bug? Or do they just work without power? Oh no, no, they started with a little fuel. Interesting, good to know. Let's fuel those with coal. Uh, got enough. And here we go. The rest, the excess coal for now. I keep because. We have uh, copper up here being produced. Yeah, yeah, see this one needs a little more. Let's grab the copper. No oh, bummer. So they grabbed the coal faster than <laughs> they could produce them. So let's see, how are we gonna fix that? Let's do it like this. Let's, let's keep this the way it was. Get it started. So let's start with a steam engine and a boiler and an offshore pump and get uh, get electricity going. Where should we start? Let's start at the bottom down here, I say. I could build out here, but then it wouldn't leave me any space to run through, so I prefer building here, like that. So the outermost is going to be boiler, inserter, fuel, and same here. Going to need a bit more pipes that way, but it's more compact. So 14, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 on this side, 7 on this side. And here's where the water is going to come in. So let's check in those boilers. Here we go. Boom, boom, boom. And the advantage of this setup is also, I think the spacing is exactly 
three boilers, isn't it? So one here, one, two, three, one, two, three. Yes. Exactly. Here we go. Chuck in the pipe. Water is flowing. And that means that coal is run, going to run down here. And if I need to expand, I can do that on this side. One, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And it'll even leave me space for one more down here. Should I need to expand? And I'm pretty sure I will need at least three. So that's a good start here. Water, water, water. Here we will split coal later on. But for now, let's, let's keep it going like that. And because I don't want to run that line all the way down here, let's start with this coal patch. Down here separately. Give me some room again. One, two, three, four, five for another engine. One, two, three, five. So that I don't have to change that too quickly. Hope I didn't miscount this time. And we're out of belts and out of iron. And it's dark again. Yeah. Oh, we're, we are out of coal as well, so. By pressing F, I can pick up coal. Let's get that and that. Let's refuel those. They are the most important ones right now. Because everything needs iron. Here we go. And let's continue our power setup. Um, where were we? Yeah, the next thing. Yes, 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 same here. So let's let's pick up actually. Let's pick up those two drills from the top because, as I said, I don't want to produce too many of those because they'll be waste soon, anyways. Interesting. This one is constantly out because this one is. Oh, yeah, the resources. No. This one is full. Oh, I see, yeah? The setup is not working as well as this one is. So let's uh, do it like this then. Get those. Here to be cool. This one hasn't run out yet. Right? Yes. Now let's to be on the safe side. Let's give it give it some more. And while we're running down, let's grab this. This is why it stopped, obviously. Grab more iron. Here we go. And set this up. Mm. Actually, can we? Build yes we can build electric mining drills already. You know what? Let's start with electric mining drills. Because this one is our energy is most important that this is always up and running. Because without energy we're pretty much doomed and for now until we have better poles. Let's do it like this, I guess. And those two can go here then. And you will get all of that, right? And we need power. Oops, too far away. We need power. Uh, yes, we run out of belts. We ran out of belts, probably. We need a little more. Here we go. So that'll, that'll get us started. And you will grill out that. Here you go. Let's see. 
So we've got coal coming in. Should go down here. This one does need power, right? It does need power. So, see, you're already I'm very happy that I have uh, some space here. Can I? No, I can't. And that's where these come in handy, the underground pipes, because without them, we won't be able to run through here. And now we are. There we go. Looking good. Oh no, they don't need power. It says energy consumption, but they don't. But they, they're starting to power, which powers these, which gets the whole cycle started. Awesome. So unfortunately, that's all I've got time for today. I hope you liked this episode. If you did so, please leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't, or I'll make you walk the plank. See you next time, and always have a hands-width of water under your keel. Arrgh!